We are at Rustique Pizzeria in Suamico, Wisconsin. Rustique is mainly a pizzeria. A lot of people come in to see what we're doing differently, the, like, the different ingredients you wouldn't normally see on a pizza. You know, right now we've got potato and some pancetta on it. We've got our drunken meatball pizza with a vodka sauce. They're kind of looking for new things, um, things that they wouldn't normally make at home or put together on their own. The first one we'll make is the San Mateo. So that's gonna have some spinach, red onion, roasted red pepper, some prosciutto, uh, pesto, and then we feature like a goat cheese on it. There's a little bit of the um, whole milk mozz on it. And then we'll have our uh, sausage and basil, which is kind of like a standard red sauce with our uh, fresh sausages from Chicago, fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, some caramelized onions, a little Parmesan, because I love Parmesan. Everything's hand tossed, hand stretched, shredded by hand, sliced by hand. And we take a lot of pride in that. The dough, just flour, water, yeast, salt, you know, the basics, keep it basic. Let the quality of the ingredients kind of shine through. We have like a white sauce. Um, it's not an Alfredo, it's, it's lighter. And we do a pesto sauce, we use barbecue, we use olive oil. You know, they're expecting something new, something fresh, like premium ingredients, and um, cheese is definitely one of them. I find using the normal mozz, it's just nice when you want the other ingredients to kind of shine through. But then you can use other cheeses. The goat cheese is like, that can stand on its own. It's a main ingredient to a pizza. Smoked Gouda, it's creamier, it's smokier. You use manchego, we use provolones. Sometimes people don't know what they are, so you, you, know, you try to explain it in terms of other cheeses that they're familiar with. It cooks two to three minutes, five, 600 degrees. You gotta watch it because it will burn pretty quickly like any hot oven, um, but that's kind of how we cook. I like the flavor, the charring of it. It's very basic. I mean, it's just like fire and dough. More of like a human element. It's not like perfect circle. You put it in, you just close the door and walk away for 10 minutes and it comes out. Like you're turning it, you're watching it. It's, you're kind of a part of it. People love it. People love the open kitchen. They can see these guys making their food. I love table parm, but even like the fresh shredded, it's nutty, it adds depth to it. People accuse me, I put it on a lot of things. When everything's click, I mean, the employees are smiling, the customers are smiling, the music's loud, like everybody's eating and drinking, and it's like just a great feel. Like you leave here kind of buzzing. And yeah, those are the nights that you, you do it for. That's why you do it.